This morning we filed a class action complaint against JD Home Rentals and its principals, John, David, and Bryce Hovenesian, as well as several limited partnerships that we believe own many of the properties that are managed by JD Home Rentals. The lawsuit is fairly simple. It's simple because we need to try to find an elegant solution to a very complex problem. We've brought it on behalf of a class of plaintiffs, and those are people that live and rent homes from JD Homes. And um, we are asked, we've brought it under California's unfair competition law. What we're seeking is an injunction, asking first to have the properties inspected and then to have them repaired. We also have a count where we're asking that people, um, if they've been living in an untenable apartment, that they be given a rent rebate. And lastly, we have a account for negligence and for negligent maintenance of the premises. Um, that's really all there is to it. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have, but um, we brought it as a class action again because there are thousands of tenants that are affected, and it's difficult to bring thousands of little lawsuits, and the law allows us to combine them all into one action so that we can get relief for a broad class of people. And so we started going door to door and specifically asking our neighbors if there were any issues and, and learning that it was a very common um, problem of having no heat, broken pipes, mold in bedrooms and bathrooms, and carpets that had to be torn out because of the, the mold growing. And, um, and it was, you know, plumbing that didn't work and electrical issues that were endangering children was, these were stories we, every time we knocked on a door, we heard something like this. Faith and community in partnership with local clergy and lay leaders began to document the boarded up houses that we found in each, in each of these neighborhoods. In one neighborhood specifically, the neighborhood of Brookhaven, we documented over 22 abandoned and boarded up houses all owned by one property owner. That property owner is J.D. Holmes. In the city of Fresno as a whole, this property management company owns over 3,000 housing units. Of these units, faith and community through walking our neighborhoods and engaging residents have seen that 25% of these properties lie abandoned and boarded up in our neighborhoods. In the neighborhood of Brookhaven, the 22 abandoned properties cause a visual blight in the community. We began to notice in this community, as well as in the communities of others, what these abandoned properties were being used for drug sales and drug use, prostitution, gang hangouts, and other community harming activities. Uh, the, police, the Fresno Police Department has uh, instructed us that 45% of the overall abandoned houses in the city of Fresno have been deemed to be public nuisances because of the illegal activity that surrounds them. There have been many churches and organizations through the years that have attempted to address the issue of both tenants' rights as well as abandoned properties in the city of Fresno with little or no triumph. So today we are glad to stand with tenants together as they filed a lawsuit against a company that is harming our community. Today we also call on the city of Fresno and the office of the mayor to pass an ordinance that will limit the ability of property owners like J.D. Holmes from purchasing further properties in our city. Faith and community has reached out to the mayor's office regarding this issue several times and this issue has yet to be prioritized. We need the mayor and the government of the city of Fresno to show through action that they value every part of this city equally. Addressing the issue of abandoned properties will show that all Fresnans are equally loved and respected, whether they live in the Van Ness Extension, whether they live in Old Fit Garden, or in Jefferson Park, or whether they live in Brookhaven, or whether they live in Lowell. Some of the most um, egregious things that have happened inside these homes that haven't been repaired. In one instance, we have an entire neighborhood where the houses are completely substandard. They have no insulation. Um, they have, as a result, there has been mold growing in those properties for years. Um, they're some of the most disgusting conditions we've ever seen. Um, in other instances, there are a lot of instances of mold and collapsing ceilings. That's probably one of the most egregious and common problems that we see. Leaky pipes and roaches. There are some pretty nasty roach infestations and others. Um, we also have a problem in the summertime. There's problems with stagnant water and mosquito larvae 
growing, and this is out in the common areas of places where children play. I also just want to add in terms of the question of kind of the why now. I think also one of the, the issues, you know, there are two other factors that I think also added to this. One is the foreclosure crisis and J.D. Holmes not only not maintaining the portfolio that they already have, but also now acquiring more that they then leave vacant, really um, compounding the, their, their horrible impact on the community. And I think the city of Fresno trying to revitalize the, the downtown area and how it's become a stumbling block. So I think that that has, you know, increased the impact and why, you know, why the, the whole community just can't, we just can't go forward if this continues. And so your specific request to J.D. Holmes is to fix the homes, to fix the homes and uh, refund the tenants? It would be a multi-step process. The first step is we would like them to go in and inspect all their properties and come up with a realistic plan of what needs to be repaired. With the court's assistance, we would like then for them to make those repairs. And the last part in the process would be to determine, depending on what conditions people were living in, whether or not they were entitled to get a rent rebate. And then with the vacant homes, is there a request in there to demolish the ones that can be fixed or fix the ones that can be habitable? We're asking them to fix them up. We haven't specifically made a request that they be demolished or sold. That really is going to be up to the property owner what they want to do, but they cannot continue to stand in the condition that they're in. <coughs> We consider them to be slum lords. Yes, it's a provocative word, and that when we are not here to antagonize JD Homes, we are here to help get justice on behalf of the tenants of Fresno, and we hope to be able to do that in a cooperative manner. Should the uh, should the current tenants of JD Homes be afraid of retaliation by JD Homes themselves? There have been instances of retaliation. For example, tenants that have requested repairs have incurred rent increases. That's another reason why we brought this lawsuit, because now that the lawsuit's on file, tenants have much more protection, and it's a class action lawsuit. So it's much easier. The law really prohibits JD Homes from retaliating, and we can go into court and get some relief if they do try to retaliate against tenants. Are more people encouraged to contact you if they want to get in on this? Absolutely. And there will be information uh, on both on Tenants Together website and on our website. And I think there's information in the press release. We have a 1-800 number set up that people can call.